that's like a basic cheese pizza that I got off a pizza chain. Means it's a very standardized kind of thing. Effectively, it's like a passive fund. Mm. It's cheap. It's simple. It's from something standard. This one I got from a very specialized Italian restaurant. It's a it's a custom made pizza. But I wanted something very specific from a very you know specific thing. So. This is a lot more like an active fund where you've gone to a specialist because you know they can add value and you've paid for that value and it's not something that is standardized. And uh, today, well, Radhika has decided that uh, more than learning, we are going to be eating. She's treating me. I don't know why. Why this pizza and everything? Are you not in a mood to tell us something about investment, but feed us? Well, it's always good to eat, and I love food. I think you love food. Uh, but I think there's a lot to learn about funds from food. So, food and funds. Well, I can just see two kinds of pizza, and I can see idli sambar and nice pastries. But what are these pizzas like? Uh, looking really yummy. Should we start eating? Forget learning? Okay. Well, before you eat, let me tell you where I got the pizzas from because it's very important. So, that's like a basic cheese pizza that I got off a pizza chain. You know, one of these well-known uh, national chains. It's a very standardized kind of thing. Effectively, it's like a passive fund. Mm. It's cheap. It's simple. It's from something standard. You know what you're going to get and I basically know what I'm going to get. Now, this one I got from a very specialized Italian restaurant. It's a it's a custom made pizza. It's got pesto paneer. It's got different toppings. Uh, it was a little, little bit more expensive. Um, but I wanted something very specific from a very, you know, specific thing. So, this is a lot more like an active fund where you've gone to a specialist because you know they can add value and you've paid for that value and it's not something that is standardized. And hopefully the specialist or the chef has done something nicer than that basic passive Yeah, fund. this is looking more fancy but you know and I think uh, what do you think which is going to taste better now that that will sort of you know answer me why are you making me go through this you know a very fancy pizza and one not so fancy standard pizza. Well I'm hoping this fund because it's an active fund will <laughs> taste better than that because it's made not in a you know standard chain etc it's made by a specialized chef. I'm hoping that will taste better and it's not only about taste here. Uh, I wanted something very specific and I bought this for you for a certain reason because I like this pesto kind of flavor. So, this also has a reason. Okay, but then there's also a cost difference, right? There's absolutely a cost difference and this better justify the money I paid for it. <laughs> so, active is a bit costlier than the passive. Yes, active is costlier than passive because you would believe that active has to be costlier than passive because instead of a standardized thing, I've paid someone who's trained and specialized in a chef to do it. Just like in active funds, you pay a fund manager to do something versus something that can be gotten anywhere and that is standardized. And you'd hope when you're buying active that you will get something better, which is what we call alpha over a passive fund. So, who should choose an active fund and who should choose a passive fund? Because, you know, everyone is talking about passive fund as uh, it's going to be, you know, a big save for me. I'll save money if I, when I invest in a passive fund. So, actually the answer Priyanka is again somewhere in between. Now, I'll tell you my own example. Now, one of the reasons I got you pizza is pizza is my favorite food. There are times where I go to like, well, there are times when I pick that option. Like, I remember traveling in China and you know, you're struggling with the language and there was a chain that is well known around the world and I was like, yaha chale jate hai because yaha ka to standard hai, cost bhi standard hai, lekin English, English ka jamila nahi hai aur jo standard cheese pizza mile vegetarian hoon, mein ho jayega. But I also go like when it was my wedding anniversary, I love Italian food. I don't go to a chain for Italian food. I go to somewhere specialized. So I have picked both, both and I think that's the same in investing. You know, there are times when you're okay with something simple and standardized where you don't need that value add like a basic nifty index fund, you know, something very simple. But there are times when you need a specialist skill set like maybe picking small caps or picking IPO funds where you actually need something specialized. So, the real answer is actually not active or passive, it's okay to eat both. Okay, so what about idli and cake? Yeah, so th this idli I got from some, I mean, place near the office. It's like one of those regular 
type of stalls, things. And I mean, have you ever eaten idli at a five star? Uh, I don't think so. We go to eat idli in a five star. Yeah, and it's probably because I don't think a five star adds value in idli, and you're very happy with the cheap idli. So the basic idli. The basic idli, and I think there are some categories which lend themselves very well to passives, where you don't want to pay the cost. The basic product does. I I I tell this about. Uh, debt passive funds, for instance, that wo, you know, bond ka hi to exposure chahiye, kar lo, you know, aise kar lo. Now, the other one is this. Now, this is a specialized set of pastries that I got from a very nice pastry shop, again, not cheap. Uh, but the reason I got them is, uh, you know, pastries are specialized and usually we order pastries for special occasions and anniversaries. But have you ordered, ever got those like one of those packeted type of cakes for your husband's birthdays or do you usually go to a bakery? Bakery, you know, will first research which is the good bakery, ask around uh, and… Then why do you pay and it's expensive often, na? cakes but are But it's damaged. a special occasion, no, my husband's birthday you said. Exactly and so that is it. So there are some categories I think and some goals that lend themselves really well to active things where passive just doesn't work because a standardized approach doesn't work and I think… Idli and cake are a great example so of that. What works for you matters. What works for you matters and you know in many times in portfolios like I have a portfolio I'm building for my son and there I've got two funds. One is a large and mid cap kind of fund and it's just a very simple I want exposure to the top 250 com uh, companies in the country. I mean nothing complicated. So I just picked a passive fund for that. But he's also small, he's going to be investing over 15, 18 years. So I wanted small caps. Now in my view, small caps are very well done actively. So he's got a large and mid cap idli and he's got a pastry, you know, active fund. Okay. So it's, again, it's all about the goal that you're investing for. It, and that's how you should choose whether you should go for an active or a passive fund. Exactly. And, and not think about the cost thing which people think. Cost is not the only vector. That's the critical thing. It's the goal, it's whether that particular investment that you're trying to do will be done well in passive, will be done well in active, and then is the cost justified. And again, I keep saying it's not either or. I mean, both work, right? Everyone eats this kind of simple roadside idli, and most people go to a bakery, you know, a very specialized bakery for cake. So, in real life, actually, most of us are doing active and passive, both. Okay, so it's like what works for you, your goals, your investment scenario is you should pick and not just based on cost. But I think this pizza is looking nice. Should we start then? I'm glad you picked the, you picked the active pizza. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.